Well, hello. We are coming to you today with a really quick video on our brand new product called Payments Hub. And, and hopefully uh, you as an agent have seen the information uh, come out on this product. Uh, uh, if you're used to uh, uh, selling your merchants uh, My Biz Perks, this is the replacement for that product. Uh, much more higher functioning, much more easy to use. Your merchants are going to be excited about it. Um, so I want to give you a very quick overview of the Payments Hub uh, registration process, and then I'll take you inside. And uh, hopefully you're boarding your merchants on EPX because there's some great additional features that are available with Payments Hub is when your merchants are boarded with EPX. So let's get into it real quickly here. It's an overview, so we won't take a lot of time, but I did want you to know how to register. Um, how to log in, see the basic menu structure. So the registration process is actually really simple. Um, you just help the merchant, or they can actually put this in themselves, their ID, their name associated with that account, their email address, create a password, let them know they're not a robot, and then hit the submit button, and they are registered. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. So paymentshub.com forward slash registration. And then once they're registered, they can go to payments hub.com will be their uh, login page. Um, this is obviously a demo account, so it will have different information there in the URL. But www.paymentshub.com will take them to this page right here. They'll put in the information that they re the credentials that they created when they registered, and then simply go inside. And it'll take them right into this uh, this this uh, the payments hub page here with all this information right at their fingertips. You know, I like to let uh, agents know that their their merchants are literally one or two clicks away from any piece of information that they need. Just a quick look at how it's set up. The first thing that happens is you go right into what's happening today, today's activity. What is going on with my business? Um, you've got your gross sales, tran number of transactions, my average ticket for today, volume for today, any deposits today, voids. So just a quick snapshot of what's going on today. Um, when you're looking in Payments Hub in general, you'll notice that the right up here in this gray box, this is your menu, okay? So as you navigate around, these are going to be your menu items that fall under activity. Today's activity, sales activity, transaction activity, deposits, and then, of course, your reports, okay? And we're going to talk about business because as an EPX merchant, um, they have additional features there within the business um, uh, drop down. Uh, like I was saying, virtual terminal, invoicing, dispute management, and so forth. We're going to get there in a second. But right now, uh, let's go into this next menu item, sales. And on he, in, within sales uh, or any of these menus, you can always look for this calendar to look for things by specific date, to filter by date, today, yesterday, this week, this month, and so forth. Okay, so I have some data in there under the last year uh, button. So we're going to go in there and take a look. Um, here you can see how we filter this. You could also, if I had previous uh, years loaded, you'd be able to see year over year, month over month, and so forth. Um, you can So you can look at the data this way. Um, or if you want to look by method of sales, like how much of my sales was swiped versus keyed, or how much of my... Uh, sales were Visa versus uh, Amex Discover, etc. So it's great, again, reporting right there, or I'm sorry, yeah, the it, this is a great report that you can pull, sales report, information right there at their fingertips. What about the transa transaction register? Very, very simple to use. Again, we have this uh, uh, icon here, which is the calendar, so you can sort by different dates. Uh, definitely uh, simple to use, or maybe you want to pull up by employee. I want to see everything that a certain employee, all the transactions a certain employee uh, ran. Or, of course, you can export uh, transactions out into a spreadsheet. Now, this menu here, let's say you wanted to look for a specific uh, uh, transaction, you know the transaction amount was $854 or something like that, you can kind of see that one right here. So I'll just show you how that filters. If I start typing in the number 854, that transaction will start to move to the top. And then as soon as I put in additional information, it will find that transaction. So you can search by amount like that as well, which is really convenient. Um, the deposit, I don't think I have any data in here, but this is where the deposit uh, 
uh, list is. Um, you can, again, anytime you see the calendar, you can filter by date, and then you can also export your deposits to a spreadsheet. So very, very simple, very straightforward, one or two clicks from any piece of information your merchant needs. I want to show you very quickly where they can find previous month's processing statements. Just go here to the settings menu, and within settings, they have all kinds of options here if they need to change their, you know, uh, phone number or something like that they can do that but down at the bottom is where you're going to notice they have all of their previous processing month statements and they can find them right there so they don't need to call us or you it's right there for them they can pull them all up themselves if they'd like to see those so really really good uh, uh, functionality very simple okay and you also have within this settings menu for your merchant you have a way for them to set up alerts and order supplies. Let's look at the alerts real quickly. These are very easy to set up. If, if they wanted to see something specific, um, like uh, a daily batch activity, they wanted to see that. Let's say they wanted to see that every day. Okay, They put the email addresses that they want to be alerted, and what, uh, which ones that would, they would like to, the information sent to, and then they just simply click which basic alerts they would like, and they're going to get alerted every time that the criteria is met. Okay, so I want to see a, a custom alert for transactions that are over, uh, let's say, $500. We normally don't have a $500 transaction. When that happens, I want to be alerted. So you can get that set up in a custom way as well, or batches um, that are over or under a certain amount. And once those alerts are set up, it's very simple. You'll get an email every time one of the transactions or any time that criteria is met, you will get a, an alert. Very, very useful for merchants. You guys uh, in the field should be selling the features and functions of Payments Hub as a great advantage to working with you and working with North American Bank Card. Um, and this setting up alerts in, in Allowing merchants to have access to those is one great reason for it. Integrations is pretty straightforward. Uh, we integrate with uh, QuickBooks Online, so if you'd like those uh, this to sync with that, we can do that. And then lastly uh, in this menu is the supplies. And you can go in here and order your paper and so forth. Of course, um, it's only uh, registered terminals are, are available, so I don't have any terminals registered to our demo account, but you'll see the terminals in here, and you can see your order history, and you can order your supplies right here and actually purchase them. So very, very useful, very, very straightforward. I want to take you into this business section uh, for, for EPX merchants uh, specifically okay because it's different for EPX merchants I'm, I'm gonna log out of this I'm gonna go into an account that is set up specifically for EPX merchants um, they have different and more functions uh, within that business section uh, if they're only EPX I mean if they're non EPX merchants then they're gonna get um, basically just they can set up some employees and that's about it okay and they can track employee uh, uh, transactions and so forth but if they're a uh, if they're an EPX merchant then they can do a lot more they can uh, like I was saying they can do things like uh, 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 online payments they can do invoicing dispute management so I'm going to take you into that section real quickly here so this is the the business drop down for EPX merchants Great advantage for boarding merchants on EPX, in addition to all the other advantages, like higher bonuses for you, upfront bonuses. Now your merchants have access to online payments, invoicing, and dispute management. This is a big deal, guys. Um, so let's go into the online payments for just a second here, and you can kind of see how simple it is. Um, the transaction amount, is it taxable? The description, and put in the payment information. And... You can also pull up by, uh, uh, if you have your customers in, in the uh, system, it'll go and find your customer, your specific customer. Or if it's a first-time customer, you just enter the information here, and boom, process the transaction, done. Okay, and once the customer information is entered, it's saved for the next time that they come and uh, need to do a transaction. So very simple process to take online payments in a feature that's only available for EPX merchants. 
Invoicing, same thing, available only to EPX merchants. I don't have any invoices set up here, but it's very simple. You can just simply add a new invoice, and you can put the information in right here. Once the invoices are in, of course, you can search by date uh, the invoices that are out there, okay? All invoices paid, unpaid, overdue, and, su and such. But if you're putting in a new one, you simply put in the purchase details, the invoice name, the description, okay, the invoice number, whether it's taxable or not, and then you put in your customer information. Anytime you see this little icon there, that's pulling in customer information that's already been entered into your system. If they're not in your system, simply put the put them in here, and they'll be added to the system. If you'd like to create a recurring series of invoices, you can do that as well. So pretty straightforward, uh, easy to do. And then send the invoice, and they'll get an email with a uh, button in their email that they can pay their invoice. So those are great features of EPX uh, merchant access only within the Payment Hub. Again, if you've set up a merchant on global or a different processing platform, you will not have these features uh, online payments invoicing or this last feature disputes so let's take a quick look at disputes no disputes in there because again a demo account but as disputes popped up they will be uh, labeled whether there's action required whether they're under review or closed um, and it will also give options for your merchant to act on those uh, disputes so within their own uh, hands is a way for them to uh, for them to uh, work through the disputes that may be on very on, on specific transactions. Um, the more information your merchant has, the better. The fewer questions they have, the fewer needs that they have to reach out, the more they can take care of uh, themselves. They're more confident in what's happening with their business. And it takes a little bit of the burden off of you as well um, and, and our customer service and support uh, folks here at NAB. So we want to give them everything they need to run their business effectively. So go out and sell this as a, a great added feature of being of working with you and working with North American Bank Card and being an EPX uh, merchant, EPX, using the EPX processor, because they're going to have these special features within the Payments Hub that, that they wouldn't have otherwise. So with that, we're going to close out the video. Um, go sell this thing. It's a great advantage for you. It's a great way for your merchants to have everything they need for their business right there at their fingertips. PaymentsHub.com.